Hey Scorpio, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And here is your um, mid-month, April mid-month reading. I know it's a little early, but I needed to kind of clear my plate a little bit because I'm going to be on the radio. Yep, I'm going to have um, a 30-minute radio spot on um, NBR FM, National Broadcasting Radio FM. It's an internet satellite kind of thing. Yeah, so if you guys want to listen, it's going to be Wednesday, April 17th at 1 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, which would be 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and um, 2 o'clock p.m. Central Time, and 12 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time. So if you're anywhere else in the world, um, you got to do that math yourself. Sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> well, I can, but I don't want to. So you got to do that math. So anyway, Scorpio, this is your mid-monthly reading, and it's interesting. It's interesting. So let's go. Oh, hey, I want to tell y'all, I've been given the spiel. I have a new spiel. Um, don't ever, ever plan your life around a general tarot card reading. I have done readings for so many people in the past month, and a lot of them say that they watch YouTube, you know, tarot a lot, and... Um, which normally spurs them to get a, a reading, you know, the YouTube crowd usually spurs them to get a reading. And a lot of them are referring back to the general readings, expecting it to be in their personal reading. And it's not, right? And they and there's like a disconnect because a general reading is just that. It's like the general energy. If you ever notice on YouTube... When monthlies and mid-monthlies come out, it's usually the same thread through the whole vibe of all of the videos. It's usually the same thread, right? Which is frustrating at times, I understand. But that's because that's the overall energy in that zodiac sign based on the planetary positions and blah, 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 blah. Um, that's the overall energy. So don't ever, ever plan your life around a general tarot card reading. If something really hits home to you, um, go to your favorite tarot card reader, which hopefully that's me, but go to your favorite tarot card reader and pay for a tarot card reading if it's something that's like really important in your life, right? Okay, so there you go. I worry about y'all. I really do. I worry about y'all just depending on general tarot card readings. Don't do that. It's not good for you. <laughs> okay, mama bull coming out there, right? All right, Scorpio. So this is how we start this reading. This is a precursor to the beginning of your reading. So at some point in the past, there was a toxic element that you received some absolute crystal clear clarity about, and it cut your passion. That's the best way I can describe that because that's what that's saying to me. The truth about this devil cut your passion. It like cut your passion cords, right? You're like, you just, you just lost it. All the passion that you felt for this devil, you just lost it when you found this truth, right? This throws you into the hermit, soul searching, introspection, trying to figure out how you feel about the situation. The two of wands comes in and talks about a fear of the unknown right? talks about planning for your future and making decisions, but it's also about fear of the unknown. So now you have to make decisions on a foundation of, of not knowing what it is that you're going to do or how you feel about the situation, right? So you enter your reading in the Six of Swords because of this toxic truth that came through to you. You are making a regretful but necessary transition. The Four of Wands says that you're going to the Four of Wands says that you're going to transition, right? The Eight of Cups says that you're going to walk away. Go your own way, have a new beginning. In a new journey in your life without this devil energy. And the two of wands, that's your decision and you need to move forward so you can plan for your future. The emperor on the bottom here, this is all about security, authority, establishment, and structure in your life. And that's what you're after. 
So whatever this toxic truth was that cut your passion cords, that you're transitioning, it's regretful, right? So there's some kind of sorrow, but you're headed out to, uh, to calmer waters, right? Headed the hell out to calmer waters. Transitioning. Walking away from whatever this was, right? Walking away from it, going forward, and planning your future despite a little bit of fear of the unknown, right? Authority, control, establishment, and structure of your life is what you're after. So there you are, Scorps. You're just doing your thing right there, right? Dealing with this. And in comes communication, right? In comes communication from this Queen of Swords, which is most definitely this Devil card, because the Ace of Swords... With the communication and the, um, there was something else. The eight, oh, and the six of swords with the transition, right? So in, there, in comes communication from this devil energy queen of swords that you've decided that you're going to walk away from, right? And with the seven of wands down here, well, hell, with the seven of wands down here, <coughs> You feel that this is, you feel guarded and challenged, right? This is an issue for you, this communication from this Queen of Swords. What was next? And you're going to, you're, you're not having it. You're going to manifest, manifest an ending to that relationship. To that devil energy. That is the Queen of Swords, who broke your heart with the Three of Swords. Because of a third party situation with the Three of Cups. And left you all alone with the Ten of Pentacles. This puts you into the Nine of Swords, right? Wrecked. Just wrecked about the whole thing, right? Anxiety, fear, just up at night, can't sleep, that kind of thing. Seven of Cups confuses the hell out of you. Confuses the hell out of you, right? Because I want to point out that even though whatever this truth was over here, that's apparently about some kind of third party situation, whatever it was that you walked that hurt you so badly and you're walking away from. You want away from it so much so that you're manifesting death to the situation. I mean, that's pretty rough, Scorps, right? That is a card of Scorpio, by the way. But that's typical Scorpio right there, right? I'm going to manifest death to this relationship, <laughs> right? Right? So much so, but yet now you're, you're confused, right? You're, you're confused. So this tells me... With the devil here and the devil here. And then the queen of wands coming in down here, but we'll get to that in a minute. And your strong, strong desire to stop this relationship. You have some kind of really sexual attraction to this person. Really sexual attraction to this person. Somehow, some way, this person just does it for you. Okay. So, or, or else you wouldn't be in the nine of swords, right? I mean, why would you be confused and up in your head if you didn't have feelings for this person, which I don't see lots of cups up here, right? I see swords and I see the devil, right? Twice. So this tells me that you have a very sexual attraction to this person. Okay. Nine of swords, seven of cups to the queen of pentacles. To the Six of Swords. You so don't want this back in your life again. And you've so gotten a handle on the painful lesson that it was with the Nine of Swords. That you are willing to leave everything behind. With the Queen of Pentacles, that's our home, right? And everything that's important to us and security, you'd leave it all behind to get rid of this relationship right here with this devil energy, queen of swords, queen of wands. 
and you're making the decision to do so. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but to get away from this person, you have to actually leave to get away from her. Oops, did you hear that? I slipped with a her. Maybe it's a her. Maybe one of y'all cross watchers out there is cray cray, right? Eh, I don't want to hear about it in the comment box either, all right? It is what it is. Admit it. Some of y'all are crazy as fuck out there. So anyway, you make this decision that you are going to do whatever you got to do to get away from this relationship. This relationship that has resulted in your need for self-healing with the temperance card, okay? Re realignment of your life and self-healing. That's what you have to do. If you ever want balance in your life with the two of pentacles, you have to do some self-healing and you have to um, you have to do some health self-healing to have any kind of balance in your life. Because this queen of wands, this person that you have such a thing with, right? This queen of wands broke your heart up there with the three of swords. Broke your heart, right? Probably in a third party situation with the three of cups and the two of pentacles juggling, right? The prince of cups comes in and said, you shared your feels with her, Scorps. You shared your feels with her. Right? And knowing Scorpio, you may not have told her about it. But you gave your feels to her. The king of swords. And she cut him. She cut him. She cut those passion cords. She just cut him. And now you're walking away. Now you're walking away. And you're going to be your own your own Ten of Pentacles. You're not going to be lonely, and you're not going to be in loss anymore. Up here, Ten of Pentacles was about lonely and loss, but now, mm -mm, you're gonna you're gonna carry on. You're gonna carry on. Okay. So this is what this communication is right here. This Eight of Wands, the Queen of Swords to the Eight of Wands. Got your get your leaving right here. This happened. You're leaving. Queen of Swords comes in with communication and you manifest death. You're like, hell no, right? Because she, uh, the devil, this Queen of Swords, broke your heart in a third-party situation and left you lonely. Now this communication coming into her and to you is about reconciling and reuniting. She wants to get back together. Could be a he, okay? I'm saying she because I just am. So she wants to get back together with you. And this causes a lot of conflict, a lot of conflict within you. And the Five of Cups comes in and says that you remember the despair that you felt. And you might even regret with the Nine of Swords being a painful lesson, even getting into this relationship at all. And you're going to walk away. And you're going to leave her out in the cold. The Nine of Wands comes in and says that uh, she makes you feel defensive, right? That's what that conflict is. She makes you feel defensive. Five of Wands, again, she makes you feel defensive and she fills you with conflict. I mean, look at this guy right here. He's, he's kind of pissed off, right? He's like in fight mode. He's like ready to fight, right? And that's what these feelings that this Queen of Wands and this Queen of Swords did to you, right? Four of Cups comes in and says that you think about it a lot. And the Eight of Swords testifies to that. You think about it a lot. Well, what you've decided to do while you're thinking about it a lot is put it to bed. Ten of Swords, death inevitable ending, total ruin, gone, dead, right? Ten of Cups comes in and represents a misalignment of values in a broken home or a broken relationship. 
since you put this to death and you did not take the bait of the devil and reconcile with this queen of wands, queen of swords kind of character that you apparently have the hots for in a big way, because you didn't take the bait and you stayed strong and had self-respect and self-love and say, nobody treats me like that. Nobody treats me like that. I'm out. The wheel begins to turn for you. This is one life cycle closing and a new life cycle beginning for you. With the King of Cups saying, you can be all right. You can be all right, Scorpio. You can be all right. Strength. You're strong. You can be all right. The Eight of Pentacles says that you are just going to focus on yourself and your coin. And you're just going to focus your attention elsewhere so you can avoid a disaster up here and um, get over what you need to get over through this whole thing. The Sun card says you see crystal clear. And the Queen of Cups says that you feel good, right? You are emotionally secure emotionally balanced, in control, calm, cool, collected, right? There you go, Scorpio. That was amazing. That's a beautiful reading. That's an absolutely beautiful reading. And I love to see it when people don't tolerate stupidity, right? Don't tolerate stupidity in your life. Cheating and lying and all of that. Why? Why? Because of the devil, whole devilly, yummy kind of thing? Eh, you know, I don't know. I suppose. I suppose, but oftentimes, actually, I'm going to venture out to say all the time, when a relationship, when a relationship's foundation is, is built on sexuality, and maybe even some kind of codependency or an addiction of some sort, right? It's a restriction. That's not love. That's sexuality. And that's cool. If you want sexuality, have at it. Have sexuality. But if you want love, being in a relationship like this is unhealthy. It's just unhealthy. It's not a love relationship. And this is what, this is the stuff that happens when a relationship is built on lust and not love. Yeah, so that's my spiel. There you go, Scorps. There you go, Scorpio. That is your reading, and I think it was a good one. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like a reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com forward slash YouTube subscribers. And um, I got y'all your own website these days. And um, yeah, there you go. Namaste, my friends.